former Bush administration aide is taking legal action against Walt Disney and two Hollywood actors. Political commentator Brad Blakeman, you've seen him here on Fox, is filing a copyright lawsuit claiming they stole his idea for the new movie Swing Vote. That film stars Kelsey Grammer and Kevin Costner. It is now playing in theaters. Blakeman, Blakeman says he gave a copy of his screenplay called Go November to Grammer back in 2006. See what the it features a down-to-the-wire presidential election hinging on swing voters. So, does Blakeman have a case? Joining us now, Doug Burns. He is a former federal prosecutor. And William Chip Merlin, he is a civil litigator and trial attorney. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Doug, it's my understanding that uh, you think that uh, Brad Blakeman has a long way to go to try to prove his uh, case here. Yeah, with the opening caveat, John, that you don't prejudge a lawsuit uh, ever, I did have an opportunity to read through the complaint. Uh, and my view is that, you know, they have to show, just to keep it simple, that he had a valid copyright and that they actually copied it and stole his information and that the people who did it had specific access to his material, his script. And from reading the complaint, they spend almost all the time talking about the substantial similarities between the two works, but it's very thin in terms of how they actually copied it and whether they actually had it in their possession. So I think it may turn out to be difficult to prove. But Chip, I thought he was arguing that, uh, yeah, he did have meetings with these two and, and that in fact, you know, they kind of seem to sign off on his flick. In my line of work, when you're not certain who you sue, sometimes we have an old saying, you <laughs> sue them all, the short, fat, and right, tall. Right. And that's exactly what they did in this lawsuit. Yeah, because Kelsey Grammer, Kel Kelsey Gra let, let me just interrupt you for a second. Kelsey Grammer says, hey, I was just an actor. I don't have anything to do with the screenplay. Right. Well, except for the fact that Brad Blakeman gave Kelsey Grammer a copy, <laughs> and the ending is astonishingly not just similar, almost exactly the same with the same type of ending with Kevin Costner casting a vote and in both stories you don't know which way the vote went. This is more than just a coincidence. So uh, the, the fact that they did have meetings though that's got to uh, that's got to buttress Blakeman's case. Oh I can tell you right now the lawyers for Walt Disney are having their executives copy their emails they are going, wow, how in the world did all these similarities and the exact same ending happen? How did this get copied from Brad Blakeman's story? Well, I, I guess at, at the same time, Doug, I mean, you, there are an awful lot of scripts that get tossed around in Hollywood. And even a script that gets green-lighted doesn't look anything like what the a writer initially envisioned when the thing comes out right. the grinder that is the motion picture factory. So right. how do you know? No, there's no question about it. And I don't disagree at all with uh, Chip's analysis. But what I'm saying is as a straight legal matter, it's interesting uh, that you can have a hypothetical where you come up with uh, material that is, in fact, substantially similar, uh, but it is incapable uh, of being proven uh, that they physically had access to your material. Most studios give you the script back, John, by the way, for that exact reason. Uh, and I'm telling you, A, they did name everybody but the kitchen sink, which is crazy. And B, uh, I do think it may turn out to be difficult to prove that they specifically had his script. Doug Burns and uh, William Chip Merlin, thank you both. Thank you, John. Thank you.